Hey everybody, it's Coach Lisa with The Running University and I am back again. As you might remember, on the fourth Thursday of every month, I am interviewing the amazing women who are in my true tribe. And this month we are talking to Sarah Chesterfield. Welcome, Sarah. Hi. So the first question I always like to ask people is just if you remember how and when you met me. I do. I don't know if I remember the year but I remember meeting you at Joyful Yoga in yoga class, in yin, specifically a yin class. Might be restorative too, but I remember yin a lot. And it was, gosh, six years, seven years ago? Yeah, pre -COVID, definitely, obviously oh. pre-COVID for sure. Um, yeah, I can't remember the year either. And yes, that's exactly how we met. So just to let people know, one of the things I like to talk about as a coach is cross training. And I enjoy like yin and restorative. I have been really the only types of yogas that I have sought out. And so joyful yoga was close to me. Um, no longer there anymore after COVID. Um, but um, I had met Sarah because she was leading the class. She's a yoga teacher. and. and I talk about she running and she walking all the time. So I would take the class for that relaxation and the stretching aspect of it. But truly one of my biggest things was, was working on my body sensing skills, right? So like, that's like, like something that I don't think people even think about, but when you're doing yin, I would try to practice with my eyes closed and really focus in on hearing your cues and then moving those sensations into my body. So I just always loved Yin for that reason and I need to get back into it. <laughs> so, <What>? yes. <laughs> um, so let's talk a little bit about your running though, because when we met, it was kind of in your territory. We were like in your territory and your, you know, when you were teaching yoga. Um, but what about when, like how, when did you start running? I started running when I was in my twenties. Um, uh, when I first got married, my husband and I lived um, out by Encano Park and we used to run, you know, and then, and then we'd finish every night that we'd run, we'd finish with like a, you know, a 50 yard dash all out, like who can, who can beat the other one? And that was like right in front of the big rose garden at Encano Park. And I'd never forget that because I always had that big burst of energy at the end. And that's like the competitive person in me. I would just like run. Okay. <laughs> I love it. And I love that you were doing this with your husband too. I think sometimes that's that can go both ways. I think I've had this conversation with people. Sometimes you want to get away from your partner and do your own thing, but it's also nice to spend time together. So, um, but you haven't been running so, all of this time, correct? Um, so I probably stopped running. I did, I did the PF Chang half marathon. And, um, after the PF Chang half marathon, um, I could feel on the bottom of my foot, um, when I would ever get to like mile three or four anywhere, walking, anything, it would just burn just oh, it was awful so i started hiking more and walking more and i would no matter and i have a friend who hikes a lot and we would just be hiking and and i'd be like yeah we're at mile four well how do you know my foot is killing me it always happens at mile three or four um but i started running again so about five years ago i started running again at through orange theory i did the treadmill and the rower and I had an overuse injury um, from the rower mm. yeah so it wasn't from the running or the walking it was from the rower and so I stopped and then I found you again online and I started watching your YouTube videos and I started and I, uh, oh, coincidentally, around the same time, I was getting my um, 200 hour you got medical Qigong certification and you resonated with me. Lift up to the crown, move from your lower down tian. And I watched and uh, I watched your YouTube stuff. Like it, 
it sang to me. I have it, goosebumps. <laughs> it resonated in every molecule of my body that no other running coach did. So I started doing that, and I w- and I would go to the South Mountain, and I was still. Um, I would hit the um, the trail at South Mountain, and I would do the saddle. And I mean, it was one hour, boom. I had it down to an hour. That I did alone, that I did alone. I always did that alone. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't really care to do it with other people. That was my church, that was my sanctuary, that was my spiritual, like, my vision quest. <laughs> yes, yes. As, yeah. as somebody who's not, you know, I, I was raised Catholic in that sense, right? But I always say that the running, being out on a trail is like such right. a spiritual experience, I feel. Yeah. I was raised Quaker, so I don't know. <laughs> but you, um, and then and then I started um, walking more and running, walking, running, walking, running, walking. And um, I really just... I just enjoy the trails. Uh, I enjoy the trails, and this time of year is well. Summer is very difficult for me because you know yeah. we can't. Yeah. But um, all of your queuing, and then when I um, started following you on the Running University and the True Tribe, and I started watching your the form focus. Um, videos and all those videos that you really help the women in that in this group it, they made so much sense to me and i i just uh, thank you <laughs> thank you for saying that. <laughs> i have no pain i have um i have a bone spur on my hip socket wow. i have no that is um, that is awesome. I love that, and I love it from your perspective because I always tell people the chi running and the chi walking. I say sometimes I feel like the chi word in there is too much for people, right? Like, and I always tell people it's very much about learning how to move your body physically. There's it's all about body mechanics, but there's this other chi part, right? That not everybody taps into, not everybody understands, and I feel because of your background you have that advantage to really getting um, that too. So I think that's awesome. And I want to say, I think it really got even deeper, maybe because you took the Chi Walking online course that I did earlier this year. And I think that was where a lot of aha moments happened for you. A lot of aha moments happened for me during that um, that session, those sessions. Um, Multiple reasons. One, like I said earlier, the... um, incredible online support that you provide that you layer it just so appropriately each week the lessons were just so appropriate but the community of women I may cry but the community of women is so strong it's so supportive women uplifting women that's um, the ultimate that's the ultimate and and your tribe was there having one person validate what you go through is like oh my gosh it, it feels good to be validated it does yeah. and your tribe is very validating it's very opening it's very um it's open for everyone um it's open for all women um and I just appreciate the, you know, there's competitive women and then there's people like me who, you know, I'm competitive, but uh, I just, you know, I, I compare myself to myself more yeah. than to other women. That's yeah. my, um, and I've learned how to soften that through your true tribe, watching the empowering women that go through your tribe is just it's beautiful watching listening to them and and following their stories is truly humbling and it's it's a fabulous experience thank you so much for saying that again it means a ton for me because you also do um just to shift to what you do because you also do work with women and i feel like i think i remember that one time we went for a walk around kiwanis 
is when we kind of reconnected, maybe it was late last year or middle of last year. I can't remember when we kind of reconnected. And it's like everything again, it was like, we were just like this. But you do stuff for women quite a bit with your retreat ladies. I don't know if you want to talk about, um, you know, and why that's so important to you, the women, the women supporting women. Well, I'm not always a, a shiny, happy person. <laughs> I, I think that's all of us maybe, right? <laughs> I think there's a lot of um, toxic positivity in our, in our, um, in the health and wellness community. Um, and my partner, Don Hopkins, who you will have um, in a couple weeks uh, doing her mindful eating course, which is wonderful. Anybody, if you're out there and you listen to this, I highly recommend it. I've taken the course and it's life changing. Um, but Don and I are both yoga instructors and we're same but different. We complement each other in so many ways um, and we work on doing many retreats, um, two, one, two, three day, and we've had um, four day retreats and our purpose is to connect women um, and help up, just uplift women through yoga, meditation, journaling and helping them discover who they are. Um, Midlife, most of our women are in their 50s and 60s, and I hate the term midlife crisis. Um, I actually think it's um, the opportunity for women our age to find themselves and to find their true authentic voice and to find out how actually they can empower other women. And that's what we do. We do a lot of, you know, having women empower other women in our groups. Um, so that's a near and dear to my heart. And yeah. um, I just absolutely love working with her and I love doing that. Yeah, I love that because again, our synergy was so spot on with this, right? Is this this need, it's true. And especially I want to say in running, like running can be so competitive. And you know, we've been parts of groups of women that get catty and there's like the gossiping and the drama. Um, and we really, and that's actually one of the reasons why I have not grown the tribe so much in the last few years, because I'm very protective of the energy that we have. But then I keep realizing that I really need to, like I, you know, I don't know, it's me, the tribe, all of it together. Like, I feel like I have this need to, to reach out to more people. I need to serve more women. I know because what's happening in the tribe, like what you were saying, I mean, we've got 60 year old women who are doing their first ultras for crying out loud, you know? So um, I totally appreciate that. And I love what you said about the midlife because I, I've been really kind of, you know, there's this big pro aging movement now. I think the word pro aging tends to be, it's kind of like a buzzword, but I, I, I like that better, you know, this whole idea that we're aging and it is what it is and just accepting the process and how can we support each other? Because as women, I think in this age group, right, you have people are dealing with empty nesters if they had children or people are dealing with taking care of kids and their parents at the same time, losses of parents, you know, illnesses that happen to friends, family, ourselves. So just having that support system and people that are like-minded and, and can help each other through those times is, you know, I always say in the true try, running and walking bring us together, but it's really the community that keeps us together. I think that's level of support that, that you talked about. So I appreciate that. Um, and you know, right now I would say, um, just, I don't want to guess, but you're pretty much really, you walk more than you run. Would that be a correct statement? I, I, um, I go to Orange Theory twice a week and I do run on a treadmill okay. twice a week. Okay. Um, I get about, I get 30 minutes in, boom. Um, I started at like four miles an hour at like a 3% incline. I'm at about a 4% incline and I'm up to um, a five and a half, sometimes five and a half miles nice. per hour. I, I am not as competitive with myself anymore, like I was saying earlier. Um, I am more careful um, and I wear a heart rate monitor and I do have a heart. I had a cardiac incident and a, 
a year ago. And so I wear a heart, that's specifically why I go to Orange Theory because I wear a heart rate monitor and I make sure that when I'm in that 140 zone, I, I back off. I love I, it. I stay in the high, you know, 138, 139, but when I go over 140, if I'm in there for more than two minutes, I'm like, okay. And that's why I do that. Yeah. And that's, again, like, like the fact that you're so aware and obviously because you've had some things that have happened to you, but also just that, that level of awareness. And I think, you know, we talk about this a lot in the tribe is this idea of giving ourselves grace. Right. right. Like you know, we're not here to compare ourselves to whoever we were when we were running, even last year. Right. Like I know if I start thinking about that, like that whole idea of just being present and in the moment and enjoying what you're doing currently at that time. Um, right. But I also just like to focus because I think sometimes and it's something I'm trying to change a little bit and, you know, it's slowly but surely, but I do generally have more runners in the community, but I'm really trying to work on expanding our walkers and hikers because um, it's just a lot more accessible. I know I get that running isn't for everybody, right? Like I, I feel like I could convince anybody to run if they were open to it. However, I also get that, you know, hey, I, I tried it, I hate it, I don't want to do it. Um, but I love the fact that you get into hiking and... Yeah, and I remember telling you, I'm never going to be a runner, I hate running. And then I started running again and it felt really good. But I, I, if you look at the percentage, I am more of a walker or a hiker. During the fall and winter and spring, I'm a hiker. During the summer, and I do weightlifting then at Orange Theory. So then the rest, then then when I can't, I go to Orange Theory and use the treadmill. I go to EOS too. Yeah, when that's I awesome though. Like you use all your, you use all your, you know, the strength training is huge. We talk about that too as we age as women is huge. So, and then how about, um, we're, I'm circling back to what we talked about earlier, just because I feel like you do have that perspective, um, as you do teach Qigong, but anything else from the Qi perspective that you feel um, that you want to share with people who might be watching this and how, you know, maybe taking Qigong and those types of things would assist in their well-being, women specifically, maybe even. Absolutely. Uh, I am a 200-hour medical Qigong trained instructor and what I what resonates with me and why I love it is energy flows and where energy flows you, you know you you feel it and you activate into it and when you uh, have your uh, when you're walking when you're running and the form focuses and the meditation like I do the walking meditation that's my jam like that is my, that is where I go to. I go into my body. And Qigong is how to get your energy to flow. It's how to trace your lung meridian from your lung one all the way down to your thumb and then flip your arm over and come up through um, for your large intestine meridian. So how you open up your lung meridian and how you open up your heart meridian. I've seen runners do this and I remember asking them, what are you doing? I'm opening up my lung and heart meridian. Oh, what does that mean? So yeah, you just trace your meridians and energy flows through those meridians. It's like a stagnant river. Your body can become stagnant with energy and when you feel stuck you literally are stuck somewhere and where usually where the as you've said I think where the pain is where you feel the pain is to start somewhere else sometimes so when you tap into the energy highways of your body you cleanse you open up that area and you feel it like I can feel it I, I can feel it and you are energy you are energy you are all energy like when you hold your hands like this you can feel the heat and that's you and that's how that's why your program and the chi running chi walking resonates so well with me because you can feel it coming up from the earth 
and you can feel yourself like when you stride, when you strike, you are on the earth and you feel the earth and you feel every part of your foot, right? Coming up and then back down onto the earth. It's, a, it, 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 it's just a beautiful sensation to me. Yeah, I love that. I love that. And I know, again, and I might be stereotyping a little bit. I feel though, and again, is I'm thinking about even myself as when I was younger, right? And I think this is also just something with aging that you really just start, you know, not caring about what other people are thinking, but you really start just delving deeper. Kind of like what you said with your retreats too, is that you're helping women find themselves. And that's exactly, I guess, kind of what happens with the chi running and the chi walking or just running and walking even in general i think the chi adds a whole different element that you know not everybody may be able to tap into but i just think you know again as we're getting older it's so important to take care of our mind body and spirit and i think this is just so much of a holistic process that way so i appreciate that perspective so to tie it all up now i know that again and i love this because i have asked you before in a member spotlight um I think I said, what was, oh, do you have a bucket list race? And you said, no, which I love. This is the great thing about the try because, you know, the last member spotlight I did, you know, Jenny's like, I'm never doing an ultra. Like, that's just not me. We have ultra runners in the group. And I'm like, that's amazing. Like I, everybody, sh you do you. So do you have any plans as far as your walking and running goes or, you know, what else, what's, what else is happening for you coming up? Well, as my walking and running, I'm just, I love this challenge and I'm participating in it and I, I love everything about it. And even after the challenge is over, I'm still um, I'm still writing them down for October. Yeah, they'll be there. They'll still be there. You'll have access to them. You'll have yeah. access to them forever. <laughs> and you and a lot of other women um, that I, I, um, I, I did, you inspire me. And I am working on my health and wellness coaching so um, in the next year, um, I'm right now I'm in the nutrition um, Fun. module and it's fascinating. I love it. I learn all about hormones, but um, it is fascinating. And so that's where I'm going. Um, I'm still doing retreats with Dawn. We have one coming up in October and um, we have a big one coming up in March or April. And so by maybe by March or April, I will be a certified health and wellness coach. So and I'm going to drop those links. I'm going to drop those links in the description for the retreat ladies and for these upcoming, because some of these you definitely, okay. want every, it depends on whenever people watch this video, but if they're watching it fairly currently, um, I definitely want to put those in there. And I just really so appreciate you taking some time to come and chat with me and share your wisdom. And it goes both. That's what I love about our tribe is everybody. There's just this big circle of inspiration. We're all inspiring each other. And I know one of these days, hopefully I can be part of the retreat. We, you know, we try to work it out and, you know, you guys have your thing going on, but, um, you know, oh. I know that all we do is in like, you know, there's one. I'm, um, I walked away from teaching yoga full time. Um, a year ago because of health issues, but I'm back. I'm back at InterVision in uh, Tempe and in Awatupi. So I will be in Tempe um, teaching Yin Yang Flow on Friday mornings at 7.30. And I will be in Awatupi on Wednesday and Saturday mornings, I think nine to 10 or 10 to 11, teaching Yin Yang Flow. So it's a little bit of movement and then it's a little bit of Yin. It's a combo. Oh. All right, cool. I'll do, and I'll drop those links down in the description as well. If you are local, I definitely would recommend checking it out, but I'll put your info there. And yeah, I am very much a yin person. So the yang, I'm already like, oh, but I should come check out a class because I won't know until I try, right? Never know. <laughs> That's right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me. And I'm looking forward to hearing and being part of, of what you're doing as you keep moving forward with your walking, running and your teaching as well. Thank you, Lisa, and thank you for everything you do for all of the women. That you are an inspiration to all of us. Thank you. Thank you so much for saying that. Mm-hmm.